Hey everyone, it's Kiki, and in this video, I'll be showing you 10 of my favorite apps, websites, and Chrome extensions for productivity. You guys really liked my must-have apps for students video, so I decided to do another one, but this time including websites as well as Chrome extensions. Let me know your personal favorite websites and apps down below so we can help each other out. Stick to the end because I have a bonus tip that has helped me a lot with my learning. Also, all the apps and websites I showcase in this video are all free. Now, without further ado, let's get started. The first website and app is Spike. Spike is basically a free website and app that turns emails into simple chat conversations. It organizes emails whilst adding so many useful features, such as seeing when the other person sees your email, making group chats, making collaborative events, and more. One of my favorite features for group work or just in general is how you can create a collaborative note where you can edit it in real time, make comments which people can respond to, and you can even make a to-do list. The best part is the people you are sharing this note with don't have to be a Spike user. I think that it's so helpful that you can use Spike and all of its benefits without having to actually force everybody else into getting Spike. Spike actually reached out to me and after hearing all the incredible features it offered, I decided to showcase the app. So this video is sponsored by Spike. Definitely at least check this app out because you can get the personal version of Spike for absolutely free. And that doesn't mean a two-week trial, it means it's totally free forever. With Spike, you don't need to sign up or create an account. Just log in to your already existing email and you'll have all the incredible features they offer. I'll link it down below, so I highly recommend checking it out. Spike offers so many incredible features and I just couldn't fit every single one of them into this video. So I recommend going onto the website and just having a look at their video because they shake showcase everything you need to know about the app. And just as a note, the link is an affiliate link. The second app is called Flashcards. This app has honestly upped my study game to a whole new level. With this app, you can create different decks which can get saved to your files, meaning you can email them and share them. It's extremely simple to use and very organized, so it's easy to set up and make your flashcards with. Once you input all the details for your topic, you can study them and they have features such as flipping all the cards and shuffling the order. Recently, I have had to head I've had to spend a lot of time on public transport, which means a lot of time for me just to be on my phone. During exam season, I find this is a great way to remember the content and reduce the amount of time I actually need to sit down and study for. The third is Forest, but the Chrome extension version. So the Forest app requires money, but the Chrome extension actually doesn't. If you don't know what Forest is, Forest is basically an application which basically motivates you to stay on task and not go on your phone or in this case, blocked websites. First, set up your blocked websites and allowed websites, then plant a tree and stay on task. If you ever do access the blocked websites, your tree will be killed. So the point of it is to plant and grow as many trees by staying productive. If you have the app, you can also link your account to the browser extension version. The fourth app is Bakery. This is a very similar app to Forest, but it's free. Basically, you choose how long you want to be productive for, and the longer it is, the more decoration your baked good will have. You can buy new recipes through the coins you earn. If you leave the app and don't go back on instantly, your cinnamon bun will burn. The burnt items will stay in your display and you have to pay money if you want to clear it. The app is so simple and so cute and I think it could be a great addition to anyone who struggles with a phone addiction. Definitely go check this app out. The fifth is one tab. Do you ever have an assignment or a research project to do and you just have so, so many tabs open that your computer is just so slow? OneTab is a great Chrome extension which allows you to declutter your tabs whilst having them all in one place so you don't lose them. This is the perfect solution and I highly recommend trying it out. 
The sixth is Google Docs. I talked about this in my last video, but I think I definitely need to mention it again because it is just so useful but underrated. You can access Google Docs for free on the website or the app. It syncs really well and you can also collaborate on it. I love how simple it is and one of the standout things on it is the highlighter color variation. I just love that they offer really light colored highlighters, which help me so so much when studying. And you can also download a document on your phone so you can still access it offline. A fun fact is that I actually use Google Docs all the time to write out my script for YouTube. The seventh is the Reminders app. This one's for the Apple users. I mainly use Reminders on my laptop and I find that it is actually really, really useful. It is quite underrated, but it has helped me so, so much. How I use it is I make different lists for each subject I do and also one for general to-dos. I love that you can add due dates, locations, and flags, and it has such a simple layout. I personally haven't synced my phone and laptop, but I feel like doing so could be super, super helpful. The eighth app is CamScanner. This app is nothing special, but it is just one of those apps that I use every single week. Basically, it scans your document and makes it available on your phone. I mainly use this to convert my notes into PDF form and to email it to myself so I have it on my laptop. Or if I need to hand something in but I didn't do it on my laptop, I can easily scan it with my phone instead of having to go to a printer to scan it. The ninth app is spending. I use this app all the time to keep track of my money. I love that they have categories and it's super simple to use. It helps me understand my spending habits a lot more and I find that having this app has made me much more aware of how I spend money and where I spend it most, allowing me to save money. The tenth app is Plant Nanny. If you've ever set a goal to drink more water but was never consistent enough with it, this might be the perfect app for you. Although this is not related to productivity, I still think it's super important to take care of your health through water. Basically, this app has a really cute interface and motivates you to drink water. You just have to open the app and click on the water thing to track whenever you drink a cup or your drink bottle. I love that you can change how much water you're tracking, depending on how much water fills your cup or drink bottle. I definitely think this app could be really useful to many people. Finally, I just want to provide a quick tip that I use. If you are studying another language, I recommend setting the language on your phone to that. For example, I am studying Chinese, so I like to set my phone to Chinese a couple weeks before my test to become more familiar with it and get used to reading it. This is just a simple tip that I have been implementing for a while and I find that this actually helps with my studies. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out Spike, it's completely free and I think it could greatly improve your productivity. I have a link in my description so feel free to at least give it a try. Thank you so so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it, consider subscribing. I post study, productivity, stationary related videos and more so if you would like to see more content from me, stick around. Bye guys, happy studying!